Marcus Conti, Sanitation Enforcement Agent, former Sanitation Enforcement Agent. I want to talk about the uh, court system. <clears throat> For people who don't know, it seems to be a question people ask about uh, how exactly the whole thing works. Up here in Central Park, it's the uh, sitting in the mall. <clears throat> September 7, 2017. See the beautiful elm trees. Actually, this is one of the largest... Uh, collection of uh, elm trees in North America and they're all here <laughs> they're mostly male which is pretty interesting you know it seems like the um, the Dutch uh, bug the elm disease bug has never gotten into the park for some reason so these elms have never had the uh, elm disease you know why maybe because you know the elm the bug can't get in because the flight is too expensive I don't know Anyway, so, so the courts are set up in a way where you, you, and me, to seek reverence of grievance. In other words, if something goes wrong, the courts are the place to go. And it seems in this um, political situation that the courts don't work anymore. The politicians work for themselves. Everybody stopped working for us. So that's why you have to go through court after court after court after court. And every time you go to a court and you get a decision that is either hasty or frivolous, you go to the, to the higher court or their boss. So New York State um, Division of Human Rights is actually a high court. And... Okay, in the case of discrimination, if you're in a city agency, first you go to the city agency and you say, hey, I've been discriminated against. And when they laugh at you, then you have to go to the state, New York State Division of Human Rights. And when they laugh at you, you have to enter what's called an Article 78 in Supreme Court, right? And then when they laugh at you, if they refuse to listen, then on appeal, that's when they have to listen. That's when they have to unequivocally produce their reason for not listening. Okay, so in New York State, the two, the high courts are the appellate division, right? There's four, right? There's four departments, four appellate divisions spread across New York State. And then there's the Court of Appeals in Albany. So. Where um, this case currently is, is now in the appellate division, right? There's four courts. It's in the first department, which is Manhattan in the Bronx. Second department would be Brooklyn, Long Island, a whole other area. And I'll put the uh, graphic up and you can see where, where the courts are. But essentially, um, you think of federal court and you think of state court. They're really no different in that state court has high jurisdiction. Now, because the scene is so public politicized, uh, hence that's the reason why we're doing this in a more of a public forum. Because it's become so politicized that the judges, the courts, everyone just kind of goes along with the politic of the day. And um, little guy gets swept under the rug. It's all pay for play if you don't have enough money to hire the right lawyers. Not just hire a lawyer, but to hire the right lawyer that has the right connections with the right politicians, your case gets swept under the rug. Sorry, nothing to see here, nothing to see here. There's no discrimination. Quota, we don't want to hear about it. No, 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 please, 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 stop. So, we do this in a public forum. We tell everybody about it. That's how it works. Okay? Your silence keeps the problem in place. By being quiet, that's how the problem continues. But when we speak up, fearlessly speak up, I mean really speak up, right? Change happens. Okay? That's how change happens. Right? So anyway, we go to first department appellate division, 
Department of Sanitation has been served. All the documents are down below. Start reading if you like. You'll find out all the dirt, all the <clears throat> stuff that has transpired in this case. Yes, it is about yes, it is about the quota. Yes, it is. But it's also about what causes what is the what is the why is the quota illegal in New York City? Why is it illegal for enforcement departments throughout the country to not have a quota? What what's the reason? Because as an agent, you're a smart person. You have discretion. You're trained. You know what you're seeing. You know what you're looking for in terms of uh, violations of the law, and you go out there and you enforce the law. But quotas take that away from you, so it, it creates this. I got to get ten tickets. I got to get ten tickets. Oh, there's a ticket. Where's the ticket? I got to find a ticket. Got to find a ticket. Oh, oh, what time is it? I got to get my old. I got to get my ticket. I got to get my ticket. Oh, got to get a ticket. Time for time to write a ticket, and it takes the takes our mind off the ball. So that's why that's why it's it's illegal. Okay. What the Department of Sanitation is doing and has done for, for I don't know, 30 years. I heard, you know, 30 years ago uh, they had the quote. If you listen to Artiga's recording, I'm not making this up, you know. I'm not making this up. If you listen to the secret audio number one, Ortega, if you listen to him, you listen to his 22-minute manifesto, he's a sergeant, a, a, a lieutenant, a high-ranking official, right? He's been around for a long time, so he's not lying, right? That's what it is, okay? So the quote has been in place for a long time. It's all documented in the 206 book, right? 206 book, right? Every day, all the, all the supervisors log the quota, numbers, agents, and on a daily basis in a 206 book, everybody puts how many tickets they have in the course of a day in the on their 144 form. Everybody has a daily log of 144, the 144 log. And at the end of the, you know, throughout the day, you document how many tickets you have. Then you have a, a no, it's not. Then you have a, 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 a C with the supervisor. Someone's asking me a question. Um, then you have a C with your supervisor. And they, what do they do? They come and say, how many tickets you got? And then they write it down, right? So everybody's, the, 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 the quota is fully documented on everybody's forms 144. And the supervisors take those numbers and they document it in book 206. That is modus operandi. That is the modus operandi of the Department of Sanitation Enforcement. It's all about the tickets. You write tickets, you're a good, you're a good guy, right? That's what it's all about. In my case, it was not that. That was not the case. I was held to a different standard. Read down below, and you'll find out what that standard was. None of it made sense. Right? It's a different standard. That's the definition of discrimination. When you're held to a different standard. Well, see all these people over here. See all these people over there. All the people down there are treated one way. But you see this guy right here. You see this guy. He's treated a different way. That's called discrimination. Right? That's called discrimination. So keep reading. And um, thank you very much.